So today we're talking about these L'Oreal Paris Color Richie lip liners that I have right here. So let's talk about the packaging. So for the packaging right here, it actually has this piece of plastic wrapped around it. So it is like secure so you know no one has opened it or like tampered with it. So when you remove this piece of plastic right here, you actually have your product right here. And I actually really like how they like color coordinate or like color code it. So you know like what lip liner color you are going to grab since you can just see the color when you store it like this. You just be like, oh, okay, today I'm going to use this color and just grab it. All right, so on the very like side right here, like or actually on the other end of it, it actually has the color name. All right, so when you open this up, what I really like about this is that it's actually retractable. So you can just twist this back up and twist it back down. So this is actually all the color you are getting from this product. And if you guys can look and see closely, like it is like a, I want to say like it's like a thin lip liner like other lip liners i have seen they're like in size wise like they're a bit more thicker a little bit more fatter but this one is more on the thinner side all right so as for these lip liners right here obviously for you guys who are new to makeup who don't understand what is a lip liner so essentially it is what it is like it's for your lips but for to line your lips first and then you apply on lipstick so it just makes it last longer so or sometimes you know there's like lipsticks when you just apply on lipstick itself it tends to like feather out or like it smudges like out of your lips so hopefully lip liner will like help keep everything in place but sometimes you know it, it just doesn't so for these lip liners you can actually use them as a lip liner or you can also double it up as like a lip product so sometimes what i will do is that for instance i'm looking for like a specific color but i can't find it but if the lip liner has the color that i'm looking for so usually what i'll do is i'll just line my lips first and then i'll just fill in my whole entire lips with this lip liner and i'll just actually just wear it as like a lip color all right so as for these lip liners right here they are actually very easy to apply it's very smooth very like silky like it doesn't make your lips feel dry or anything at all and i would say as for long lasting ones i would definitely say depending on what you do so let's say for instance you just apply this on you just go on throughout your day and stuff you don't do anything like nothing comes in contact with your lips you know obviously it's gonna stay on but like if you drink water or like drink something with like a straw like a little bit of it will come off but if you eat anything that has like heavy heavy grease to it like i for sure guarantee you like it will come off so you probably do have to like touch up throughout the day depending on your situation all right so let's try on all four of these lip colors for you and yes i definitely will be swatching them for you too so the first color i have here this is all natural <laughs> Alright, what do you think of this first color? Like, I'm not really sure because there's a color variation. Like, when I'm looking at the camera right here, like, it looks really nice. But then when I'm looking down at the mirror, it looks a little bit darker than what I want it to be. So, it looks good on camera, but then in person, it doesn't really look that pretty. So... I'm kind of in the middle about it, but I'm I'm like leaning more towards like the not like it side. The next one we have here, this is Timeless Coral. Alright, 
what do you think of this next color like I'm, I'm a little bit thrown off by the name because for this color it is called timeless coral but my image of coral is like more of like a reddish orangey type of color and to me this is not like a timeless coral color it's kind of more like i want to say like uh, more like a nudish type of pink color like it's not exactly like a coral nude pink like it's just it's more on like a i'm not even sure how to describe it it's just more on like a pinkish peachy kind of nude color that's what i can probably think of like the name is just kind of like throwing me off but aside from that like i definitely do like using and wearing this color the next color we have here this is beyond pink thoughts on this color i definitely like this color i feel like this color is literally like down my aisle of like pinkish lip colors that i would wear it has like this very like i want like a subtle pink effect to me especially like when i wear it so because i definitely do have like a lot of like pink lipstick so i feel like this one can work really well with like a lot of those like lipsticks the final color we have here this is called all about pink all right thoughts on this final color this color reminds me of like a pearly kind of like a iridescently or iridescently i meant iridescently pink kind of color like it has like a mixture of that to color and you know typically usually i don't really go for like these type of like color like pink iridescent kind of colors but i'm actually kind of liking this color like i feel like especially like if i turn like a specific way or like especially like if the light hits like a specific way like it kind of like gives off that like shine like a pearl as a desert kind of like shine that i that i definitely do kind of quite enjoy right now <music> on these lip liners right here i definitely say i do enjoy using them i absolutely love the matte finish i would have to say the only one thing that would stop me from picking up any more of these like lip liners is because the scent of them is horrible i literally mean like horrible like it smells like plastic and obviously when, some, when a product smells like plastic, you know, like, they probably added some, like, stuff in here. But aside from that, um, these are definitely really great, you know, especially for, like, the price of this. And because this is um, a drugstore brand, it is actually very affordable. So if any of you guys who have tried these, you know, feel free to let me know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like them? Do you guys hate them? Or do you guys also smell like the plasticky that I've also smelled from these? So yeah, well that is it for today's video and I should catch you guys later. Bye!